Hi, my name is Jackie and a welcome back to my channel. It is day 21 of my Tease the Season series and I'm pretty sure I am officially behind, but I am determined to see this project through, even if it means you're now getting a video a day late. Remember when I started out like three days early? That's exactly why I started out three days early. This could have been so much worse if I had started on time, but, You know what time it is. Let's dive into day 21. Wait, or is this day 22? It must be day 22 because day 21's already open, but I literally don't remember drinking day 21. I guess I'm doing day 22. <laughs> We are sipping candy cane tea, which is a blend of black tea, candy cane pieces, peppermint leaves, and natural candy cane flavor. I'm pretty excited about this actually. So the candy cane blend from Adagio Teas. I really like this one. I feel like I'm kind of surprised by how much I like it, but um, is there a crack in my, no, there's not a crack in my, is there? Is there? I digress. I really like this. I really like this a lot. It, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear Oliver in the background. This one is really nicely balanced between um, like the flavor of the black tea as well as candy cane. And there's a little, a little bit of sweetness in here from the candy cane pieces. I think the most, I guess, defining aspect of this tea is this really intense menthol, sensation between the candy cane pieces and the candy cane flavoring and the peppermint that's in this blend. I think most days I would probably drink this one with a little bit of milk and sugar uh, just because peppermint can be pretty intense for me, but I was feeling black tea today. Mail's here. None of my packages arrived. It's probably a good thing because I shouldn't be loitering in front of the camera today. So, um, candy cane, the candy cane blend uh, gets two thumbs up for me. It's not one that I would ever drink outside of like Christmas time, but lately I've really been enjoying candy cane blends. Like, this one's really nice. The one that I just keep coming back to that I'm obsessed with is the Snow Day blend from David's Tea. That's the peppermint and chocolate blend. That one tastes like a York peppermint patty. I am obsessed with it. So I never thought that there would be a day where I would say I'm obsessed with a David's Tea blend, but there you have it. I am obsessed with Snow Day by David's Tea. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go sip this. This is actually my second peppermint flavored beverage today. I started my day with a cup of black, well, sorry. I started my day with a cup of coffee that I threw some peppermint mocha creamer in. I typically don't drink my coffee with creamer, but it's the holidays. I was feeling festive. I wanted peppermint mocha in my life and in my coffee. And I'm not gonna say sorry for that. Day 22 of the Tea and Me Advent Calendar. I am hoping that this is not caffeinated because between the peppermint black tea that I just had and this morning's coffee, I'm just a little bit like jittery. Mostly it's probably the coffee, not so much the tea, but I'm definitely over caffeinated. Oh, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> we have more Fava Tea Company. It appears to be caffeine free, so. And I love the name of this. We have a reindeer drool, which is a blend of apples, orange, blackberries, almonds, carrots, star anise, cinnamon, cranberry, and pomegranate. Reindeer drool, love it. This is such an unexpected blend. So for me, this is a fruit to saying done right because there's nary a hibiscus petal in this blend. The first flavor that I notice is a sweet, juicy orange. And there is a, a certain level of tartness that is in this blend, but it's not overwhelming. It doesn't dominate the flavor profile that I think this tea is trying to, to accomplish. I mean, there are tart ingredients in here. The orange is, can be tart, the cranberry is tart, the pomegranate is tart, um, but again, it just, it doesn't dominate like hibiscus does. And then the thing that is 
most interesting to me about this blend is that at the end of the sip, it kind of morphs into this sweet star anise licorice flavor that I absolutely adore. This is another blend that Fava Tea has nailed, which just makes me even more convinced that I need to give them a try next year. Day 11 of, well, day whatever, day, day insert number here of Call Me Sweetie. We have, this looks really pretty. I Smell Snow from Call Me Sweetie. And this is a blend of peppermint spearmint, peppermint candies, and sugar crystals. So as if I haven't had enough peppermint today, I'm gonna go ahead and steep this up and cross my fingers that Plum Deluxe is in peppermint because that's a lot of peppermint for one day. <laughs> and I don't think it could be any more like, on cue, but I'm drinking a tea called I Smell Snow and it literally just started snowing outside. So, I really like this. I really appreciate that this blend includes spearmint to sort of soften and sweeten the peppermint that is in this blend. I also like the inclusion of of like the sugar crystals and the and the candy cane pieces. I mean, this is just, it's a sweet spearminty tea. You know, I don't think that I drink a lot of teas with spearmint in them. I, I quite like spearmint. Maybe I should seek them out a little bit more. Seems to be, seems to be a less harsh option than just like straight peppermint or peppermint teas. Day number 22 of Plum Deluxe. Let's dive in. Okay, okay, we have uh, another white chai, a winter wonderland chai, which is a blend of white tea, ginger, cardamom, cinnamon, lemongrass, peppercorn, clove, coconut pieces, and as usual, love and gratitude. And so this will be the second white chai that I'm having for teas this season. The first one came from Adagio Teas and I didn't like it. I've never had Plum Deluxe's white tea, so I don't really know what to expect, but I'm gonna give it a try. So, wish me luck. I still don't love white chai, but I think Plum Deluxe's execution of the white chai is better than Adagio Teas's. Adagio Teas, Adagio Teas's execution of the white chai. I, I, I guess I don't really know what the white tea adds to this. I know with Adagio Tea's white chai blend, the white tea was actually pretty far down on the ingredient list. So for me, it was like it didn't even exist. Um, I, I recall that was just like drinking chai spice water. At least in Plum Deluxe, even though I don't really taste the white tea, like I kind of wish that I could, the mouthfeel of the white tea is there. So it's definitely a fuller body tea experience. I also feel like I got a better dispersion of ingredients in the Plum Deluxe sample. Uh, I, I feel like the flavor profile that, that Plum Deluxe was building was similar to what Adagio Teas was trying to build, sort of this, I don't know, tropical flavored chai. And unlike my Adagio Teas experience, which again, I feel like probably has something to do with the like dispersion of ingredients. In the Plum Deluxe blend, I do notice the flavor of coconut. I do notice the citrusy pop from the lemongrass. I do notice the ginger and the cinnamon. I also notice the love and gratitude. So for me, I feel like if you're looking for white chai, I vote for Plum Deluxe. I'm pretty sure I dumped my Adagio Teas white chai and I will actually sip this cup in its entirety. It's it's really not, it's not for me, but it's not bad. But that brings us to the end of this video, which is good because it's basically nighttime outside even though it's not even 5 p.m. yet. But let me know what you're drinking today, whether it is from an advent calendar or just from your stash. Also, let me know your opinion of the white chai. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you indifferent about it? Let me know in the comments below. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.